Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, The Ninth Cup, where I focus my readings on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose during the current human experience. I'm diving into the North Node readings. This is for the sign of Aries. If your North Node, or AKA True Node, is placed in Aries, or if you have a stellium in Aries, stelliums are three or more placements in one sign or in one house. Okay, so if you have your true node or stellium in Aries, this reading is for you. I am channeling energies for the sign of Aries, not the specific house placement of your true node or where your stellium is. <clears throat> Excuse me, so it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a few oracles from the Wisdom of Oracle. We'll get clarification with tarot and grab a few uh, more cards from other oracle decks. All right, so North Node in Aries, that's my North Node placement. So let's see what we have for us. Blessed. We are blessed. It's number 22. An angel number. Synchronistic number 22. Um, about change, knowing your angels are with you. Also knowing about, um, or, you know, spirit letting you know about um, duality. Equal give and take, bringing balance into your life. Uh, spirit just letting you know that, you know, whatever you're thinking of, just let reminding you that your angels and ancestors are always near you we have um treasure island treasure island this is a nine which is right about you know almost getting to the finish line almost coming to like the uh culmination of something treasure island you know starting to see the rewards come through for any hard work that you've been putting in and we have exchanging gifts. It's 27, which is another nine. If you reduce it down, 27, two plus seven, it's a nine. So you have two nines, 99. You have 22, nine, and nine. So these numbers may be symbolic for some of you. Google the meanings to get further um, clarification and explanations on them. It may bring more meaning to this reading for you. <clears throat> Your south node is in Libra, the opposite sign of Aries. And Aries is, I'm sorry, Libra is the ruler over the seventh house, but it is also a sign that is about balance, equality, integrity, truth, clarity, um, and literally bringing, you know, things into balance. So the justice card is the major arcana for Libra. So your south node is your comfort zone. It's what you do well. It's your gifts and talents that you've pulled over from past lives. And, you know, it's the thing that you just innately do well. So I think for some of you, you know, you naturally seek you know, for balance in all situations, you might be great mediators, you might be, you know, ones to really be diplomatic in all situations and to um, really make it a point to see things from other perspectives so that no one ever feels left out um, and everyone is heard. Um, now, your North Node in Aries is going to be more about taking action, being more um, pioneering, maybe, you know, putting yourself first sometimes, and that's not to be mistaken for being self-absorbed or conceited, but just, um, yeah, really, you know, honoring the fact that you do have a lot to offer and, you know, letting people know that. And I'm getting that energy with these exchanges, these exchanging gifts. I'm getting that energy with this Oracle card right here. Um, you know, letting the people know that, you know, you are not just, you know, to, you know, balance things out for others, but you also have a lot to, um, to bring to the table, right? Like you can be included in things, not always have to be kind of like, a, I'm getting like, I just got this random channeled message, like a referee. That's what I'm getting. Like some of you, like, so you're not in the game, but you're like kind of managing the game, but you have the gifts and talents to be a part of that game too, or a part of that collaboration, whatever it is, apply it as it relates to you. Treasure Island, again, the gifts. So I'm getting like this Treasure Island. This literally is like what you have to offer because um, you're so blessed. Like the, the blessings you have, um, you know, you may not have always let people know just how... <clears throat> how much you want to be involved first and foremost and then how you can really add value to any given situation all right so that's like a channel message i just came that just came through um not necessarily the exact meanings of the cards but again i, I really try to read intuitively especially for these north note readings okay so let's dive into some clarification i'm going to use the eighth house tarot deck this includes astrology so we'll see what comes through First card, clarifying the blessed card, is Six of Earth, Six of Pentacles, another card of equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is like reciprocity. It's moon in Taurus, Taurus being an earth sign, which is ruled by Venus, okay? Enjoying the fruits of your labor, um, but again, letting 
others know that you know you expect to um, receive just as much as you're willing to give. Now we have Ten of Fire. This is Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. Putting down burdens, okay? Tens are completion. So again, I think that this is you really coming out of being like, I'm getting a little bit of energies of codependency that comes up quite a bit in some of the readings. But, you know, putting down the, the feeling of ha being obligated or responsible for other people's issues, um, you know, carrying the weight that really isn't yours, you know, kind of gifting it back to the, the rightful owners and letting them sort it out because, you know, you are not irresponsible for, you know, really making other people happy. Um, they are responsible for making decisions that will benefit them. But I'm getting that you may have been in positions where you just... Were kind of like burdened with the issues like you're carrying the weight on your shoulders of other people's stuff and now we have three of earth mars and capricorn this is like a collaboration card um it's three of pentacles energy but i also see this as like you connecting with mind body and spirit pentacles energy for me is also about self-worth so again drawing on energies from the divine um, also here in the 3d you know whether that's taking courses whether that's you know really working on yourself working on your physical state resting things like that um, because i'm just getting intuitively that you know you haven't been able to realize just how blessed you are maybe being a little bit overworked um yeah a little overworked kind of just taking on tasks that just isn't it isn't required, like it isn't something you have to do, but some of you may feel like you have had to do it. Let's get clarification for Treasure Island. I have Eight of Earth. This is Sun in Virgo, Eight of Pentacles. This is the card of um, literally hard work. And I just mentioned that some of you could be working a little too hard, taking on things that aren't yours. And here it is with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I think Spirit is here to tell you that, you know, it's okay to be hardworking. It's okay to have a plan and, you know, really be consistent and resilient, but not at the expense of your well-being. Not something that's going to pull you out of, you know, not at the expense of your own integrity. Things that are going to pull you out of balance, out of alignment with yourself. Um, yeah, because, you know, the, you have so much. You have an abundance here in North Northern area. So you have a lot to offer people. <clears throat> You've been extremely blessed in this lifetime, probably in past lifetimes as well. And, you know, it's not okay for people to take advantage of that. Yeah. And I got the star card, the card of Aquarius. Star card is about healing from trauma, um, remaining hopeful for the future, um, being uh, really open-minded, being, um, you know, putting yourself in a sense of renewal so that you can receive. Um, Aquarius is the, uh, it's the 11th the ruler over the 11th house, the 11th sign, excuse me, yes, the 11th sign of the zodiac, ruled by Uranus. So Uranus, again, it's a, it's a planet that is going to really flip things on their head. So I think for some of you, um, I'm just getting that you're in these environments where there's a lot expected of you. But with this Aquarian energy, the star card, not only are you maybe looking to heal, looking to, you know, um, just put yourself in a position where you can restore your own energy, but also let people know like what the deal is, right? That Uranus energy, that Uranian energy is going to be, it's almost like Mars a little bit. It's going to be forceful, but it's going to be in a way where it, it's unexpected. Um, so I think that this is what's up for some of you, what could be coming up um, in terms of how you can deal with your current situation. Two cards flipped. I'll take them both. We have Page of Water, Page of Cups. And then we have four of fires. This is Venus and Aries, which is four of wands, foundation, stability, uh, family of origin. Some people also see it as the marriage card. So this could be within a union, within a um, romantic partnership. Um, and with this page of cups here, that's like someone offering you, um, offering you a cup of love, you know, offering you union, offering you a um, partnership could be an apology as well. So once you speak up, you know, once you really dive into that Aquarian energy I was talking about, maybe stop doing so much work, pull yourself out of the Eight of Pentacles energy. Someone could step in and say, you know, I'm, you know, I apologize for being too harsh with you or expecting too much of you, not appreciating your hard work. And it really puts you in this state of like four of fire that um, again, fours are about stability and foundation. Um, but it's Aries energy. So still remaining very passionate, still remaining very much um, in your power. Okay, so that's the energies of your North Node. Um, this may be a little bit uncomfortable for you, of course, because your South Node is in Libra. But what Spirit is asking of you is to get into that 
um, into the fiery energy of Aries fire sign, um, fire energy, passion, action oriented Aries in particular about pioneering, being ambitious, kind of um, striking immediately. So I think once you get to a point where you have rested, you've put down burdens, I think that that would be a little bit easier for you to do when you're so bogged down with the things of other people, then, you know, you won't be able to catch on to that fire or ignite that drive. Um, but I'm just getting here that, you know, again, once you kind of stop working so hard towards, you know, whatever it is, or just being, you know, overly obligated for things and really speak your truth, speak up for yourself. I'm getting that people will accept that, will honor that. And then you can, yeah, be more of an Aries. <laughs> Exchanging gifts, we have the Hierophant, it's the card of Taurus. Values, belief systems, um, how you were brought up, you know, things that you were taught right from wrong, um, family of origin type stuff. It's interesting that it came out after the Four of Wands and it's clarifying exchanging gifts. Um, so the Hierophant is seen as like the high priest. Um, so it represents religion. But again, apply the energies as you see fit. This could be some of you healing others or being spiritual coaches. Um, and this maybe is where some of that burden is coming in. It's because people come to you to have their problems resolved spiritually or just any other kind, you know, but because you have that spiritual presence, you have the energies of a healer. Even if you don't call yourself that, um, you know, you take on that presence, that, um, that disposition. So, you know, with this exchange of gifts, I, again, I think it's just symbolic of like, being in balance, right? And this has come up quite a bit in the readings is that like sense of being in balance, like putting give and take, being in a place of reciprocity as well as giving, um, but never like feeling obligated to over give. Um, that's what I'm getting with this Hierophant card and the exchange gifts um, is that um, the Hierophant is also, it's Taurus, right? That Taurian energy, it is Venusian energy. So it is going to be very giving, very rewarding, very much about making people comfortable. Um, Taurus is ruled by Venus. Yeah, I just said that, but yeah, your south node Libra is also ruled by Venus. Um, okay. So again, your south node has the energies of Venus. So balance, truth, um, integrity, and, you know, offering yourself to others, you know, being of service to others, but there has to be equal give and take, you know, exchanging gifts, um, and this could also be you allowing to receive from the universe too, from the divine. Oh, we have Gemini, the lovers. So this is a six. It's another card of choice, balance. It's a choice in love, but love doesn't have to be romantic, right? It could be love of anything. <clears throat> um, so yeah, the lovers card has come up. This is just more confirmation about you making choices that are going to be fulfilling for you, um, that are going to be stimulating and not leave you feeling depleted. Um, two major arcanas clarifying this exchange gifts card. Beautiful. And now we have the high priestess, third major arcana. So there are a lot of, there's a lot of energy around this uh, final oracle of exchange gifts. Um, the high priestess is um, Piscean energy. Yeah, Piscean energy. So I just said, allowing yourself to receive from the divine. And then here we are with the high priestess. Okay, so realizing that, you know, you can manifest just how, how you are able to help others, you know, bring balance into their lives, you can use that same energy and those same gifts to help you manifest what you want for you. It's not selfish. It's not wrong. I think that high priestess card has come out to let you know that that's, um, you know, guidance from spirit. Um, really beautiful energies here in North Northern Aries. You know, I think this is just a confirmation of how gifted you are, how blessed you are, how abundant you are. People see that they want that, or they, you know, they need it. Um, but it's not to be mistaken for like obligation. You know, you're not really here to live your life for others. You're here to be of service. Yes, but it's not, um, yeah, it's not to allow people to just pull from you. Let's get a few immunology cards. Oh, a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo time to give rather than take. So I think that this probably speaking more to the people around you. <laughs> It's time for them to give to you rather than take from you. Surrender to the divine. And I, and I mentioned, you know, using source to help you uh, channel and manifest what you want. And then we have step out of your comfort zone. North node, <laughs> north node reading. 
And here we are with the North Node. Step out of your comfort zone, okay? So step out of that Libra energy for a while. Actually, it's not about stepping out of it. It's more so about bringing it into balance with the North Node. Um, so when you're, you know, when you recognize like what you are really, really comfortable in, what comes easy to you, it's like then you can kind of like steer it. You can kind of turn it down, turn it up, right? And not just feel like you're nestled into it and you're, you know, cause that can be kind of constricting in terms of um, your spiritual uh, evolvement, evolving and, um, and conscious awareness, right? And, you know, the expansion of your overall soul and spirit as you take this journey and the human experience. So um, yeah, this is beautiful energy. Uh, so if you need to pause this video and I want you to think of three things, three questions that you maybe are confused about or need an answer about, and I'm gonna get three angel answers for you. So let's take a moment. First card is wait. We have wait. Okay, so whatever that question was, spirit wants you to wait. Maybe think about it a little longer, get more clarity. Could be just a rest too. I'm getting that, you know, some of you have just been working really hard and need to refresh yourselves. Choose a new direction. This came out in another reading. I forgot what sign. Choose a new direction. So that kind of piggybacks off of step out of your comfort zone a little bit. So whatever that second issue was or question, choose a new direction. Choose a new direction could also be seen as like a new perspective, right? Take on a new perspective. And now we have let go. All right. So whatever that third question was or issue, we have let go. Spirit wants you to release yourself from it. Um, all right, so let's wrap up the reading with a few messages from our spirit animals. Mountain goat, there's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. What did I say about balance? Okay. You bring balance well. You do that innately well. But it's like, I think the thing with Libra is that your south note placement Libra is that the shadow side of it is overgiving. It's self-sacrificing and you need to get out of that energy. Polar bear, stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately no, with no attachment to outcome. There we go, That's and this is Aries energy, standing up for yourself. Libra energy, speak your truth, right? So if you kind of balance out that north and south node, you stand up for yourself, but you do so respectfully and truthfully, tactfully, that's also the energies of your south node, Libra. Make it stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. And there we go. Stop letting people take from you so much. Okay, you're not responsible for everyone. All right. This is what I have for you, North Node and Aries. Um, I hope that this, or at least some of it, you know, resonates. If so, leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links below. I'm doing the personal readings, tarot readings, as well as astrology readings with your birth chart for the month of December. If you do buy an astrology reading, I'll give you a tarot reading for free. You'll just let me know in the schedule, sec schedule section which tarot reading you want. Um, as of say January, the prices will go up slightly for live readings. It'll stay the same. What you see now, it'll be the same for recorded readings. Um, and that is all. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I hope to see you in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.